Hi, welcome to our next video in the Culture Hacker series. My name is Shane Green, and today I want to talk to you about the selection process. Now, at Culture Hacker, we talk a lot about employee experience and engagement, but sometimes we sit back and go, is it really an engagement issue? Maybe it's something more. And thought leader Bob Callagher had the right idea. He says most companies don't have an engagement issue, they have a hiring issue. So today, let's talk about how to hire someone right. Not just warm bodies, but the right body. Here are my rules for selecting people. First, you've got to focus on job fit. We get it. There are certain skills, qualifications that some jobs require. But for the most part, and in my experience, most habits, skills, jobs can be taught. Therefore, focus less on job fit and more on culture fit. Does the person fit with the personality, beliefs, and values of the organization? The second point is make sure you're using behavioral questions. This is important because we believe that past practices and experiences are a great predictor of future performance. So when you ask questions or scenario based questions about how they did or reacted or dealt with something in the past, it's a really good insight into how they'll work in the future for you. My third rule is think about the group interviews, where you have a number of employees interacting with the potential candidate, maybe asking one or two questions. I love this. Why? Because if you end up hiring the person and you go back to all those staff that were involved in the interview process and say, hey, should we hire that person? And they go, yes. Well, guess what? They now have a vested interest to make that person successful. The other thing I like is I always like to throw candidates off a little, see how they will do when multiple people come into contact with them. Again, if they can still smile after dealing with five or six interviews, it's a good sign they've got the right attitude. One of the things we see a lot of now is activity-based interviews. Again, getting someone either individually or as a group to fulfill out a challenge, an activity, or exercise. This is great because you get to see approach. How they would approach certain tasks, certain people, gives you great insight into their fit. My next rule, the fifth thing, remember to do the reference checks. I talk to a lot of managers and they don't even bother because they say they just don't get any information anymore. But here's the thing that I've learned. I think when you get a great candidate and you talk to a boss, someone in HR, or just someone that knows them, when they know they're a great person, they'll give up much more information than probably they would for someone who's kind of maybe they're not so sure of, maybe had some issues in the past, or maybe is someone they're just glad to get rid of. So keep up on your reference checks. Don't give up on them. I find when you get the right person, people are just willing to talk about them. And then finally, listen, remember, make sure you have a great interview experience for the candidates. Be on time. Be prepared. Be grateful and thankful that they're coming in to see you. And remember, always follow up and let them know where they stand. Listen, this candidate may not be your next employee, but they may be your next customer. Listen, I get it. There's so much pressure out there today to get your job done. And in a world that seems to reward everything for us to do it quicker, stronger, faster, this is the one area I say, please slow down. Really focus on getting the right person, not just any person. I promise you, not only are there employees, but your performance, your company, and your brand will thank you for it. Thanks for checking in. Again, my name is Shane. Thanks very much, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.